محمد يا رسول الله يا حبيب الله يا رسول الله يا حبيب الله يا نبي الله محمد يا أيها الإنسان O mankind ما غرك بربك الكريم What is there that has caused you to be deceived about your ever generous Lord How can you be deceived What can possibly change this reality that all of us know the only way to attain tranquility is through the worship of Allah, is by turning to Allah, is by making Allah the ultimate goal and destination. We all know this. Then why is it that we turn away from this path? Why is it that this world can seduce us away from this path? Oh mankind, what is there that has caused you to be deceived about your Lord? Has not the time come, my dear brothers and sisters, for our hearts to become soft at the remembrance of Allah and at the Quran and at hearing about Allah and His Messenger? Has the time not come that our hearts turn to Allah and that we become better Muslims? My dear brothers and sisters, how many khutbas will it take? How many lectures must you be told? Don't you understand? Don't I understand? If I don't change now, if you don't change now, this is a plot from shaitan never to change. There is no tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. Every day has another tomorrow. And the time will come when for you and me, there will be a day where there will be no tomorrow. If we keep on saying, tomorrow I'll start praying, tomorrow I'll be a better Muslim, this tomorrow will never arrive. My dear brothers and sisters, what do you need to convince us? What do we need to convince us? Don't you see what's happening in the Muslim Ummah? Are we blind to the reality of what is going on around us? Do you not notice that the majority of affairs that are occurring deal with us? Look at the news. 80% of the news deals with our ummah and what is happening to it. Has it ever occurred to us? Why? Why? Are we not believers of Allah? Are we not worshippers of Allah? Or are we? Or are we really and truly believers and worshippers of Allah? Allah says in the Quran that izzah, honor and glory and power will always belong to Allah and to His Messenger and to the believers, the mu'minun. Therefore, it is not possible that the real mu'minun will ever be humiliated. It is not possible, my dear brothers and sisters, that permanently the situation will always be in our disfavor. Therefore, there is something wrong. We are not doing our job. We are not reaching the level of iman that is required of us. And that is why we have not reached the level of izzah and honor and glory that is promised to us as well. How can we ask Allah to do His part of the contract when we don't do our part? How can we ask Allah for help when we don't deserve that help? Do we not realize that this is a wake-up call for us? What is happening in the Muslim Ummah, Allah is doing it for our sake. Allah says in the Quran, مَا يَفْعَلُ اللَّهُ بِعَذَابِكُمْ إِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ وَأَمَنْتُمْ What will Allah gain? What will Allah gain by punishing you? If you believe and are thankful to Him. If, this is the if. What will Allah gain? But if you are thankful and have Iman. In other words, if you don't have Iman or you are not thankful, then Allah Azza wa Jal must show you the reality. My dear brothers and sisters, we simply don't have the luxury of living a carefree life. In fact, we never have such a luxury, no matter what the Ummah is going through. But especially now, especially at this time, we simply can't be selfish. We can't think of my dunya, my money, my wealth. No, we must think of the ummah. Each and every one of us is responsible to do what we can for the ummah. It is my duty and your duty to be better Muslims. And that is the best way to revive the izzah that this ummah needs. That is the best way to get to the position that Allah has promised us. O Muslims, ponder over this reality. Reflect over it. For the sake of your family and friends, for the sake of this Muslim Ummah, for the sake of your dunya and akhirah, for the sake of your Jannah and Naar, for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal, each and every one of us has to change. Each and every one of us must set goals to better himself. Now, not tomorrow, at this point in time, because there is no tomorrow.